of course the first thing to do is uh get the equipment out of the container and then screw it on to the bottom of the tripod like that next step is to level it so i'm going to sit here and sight through this eyepiece right here and i'm going to go ahead and put the battery on here and uh, with that i should be able to go ahead and start leveling it and then i'll turn it on and do the other procedure over the eyepiece. If you can see it, then it'll work. Okay, what I did to get this right over the nails, I grabbed these two legs, and I looked through this eyepiece, and I centered that nail right over that. Even though it's not level, Sometimes it helps to get your shoe down there so you can see where you're at. I was right over it, now I'm having to find it again. Even though it's not level, you get the eyepiece right over it. All right shorten or lengthen each leg to get this bubble as close to level as possible. There's a bubble here and that bubble is is what I'm going to try to get as close to level as possible with the legs only. Video. Okay, it's starting. Yeah, okay. The next step is to level this upper bubble right here. There's a bubble, it's a longitudinal bubble right here. Can you come over here closer, hon? Uh, see a bubble right there? Yeah, there's a bubble right there. All right, back off. And uh, I'm leveling across this screw and the screw that's missing here because there's only three screws to level it. So I've leveled it that way. Then I'm going to turn it parallel to these two screws right here. And then I'm going to check it to level. And I go back and forth to level it, and it's level there. Then I go back and check it this way too to make sure it's level both ways. Once it's level both ways, I know that the instrument's level, but I don't know that I'm perfectly over the point or precisely over the point. So that's the next step is to move this whole thing over back or forth with this screw down below to get it right over the nail and then check the level again. Oh. It's going. Oh. Okay, the next step is uh, since I've got it level and right over the point, then I'm going to turn it on, and on this particular instrument, it'll flash, and then I can uh, take the upper motion, go up and down till it quits flashing. There's a little up and down arrow, and once I do that, then the internal level, which is a prism automatic level, it really gets it level very precisely, uh, sets that calibration for the vertical. So now it's ready to go, and the first step we usually is to is to look down there and and get this in the bullseye with these two motions, the lock and lock and load, so to speak. And once you've sighted in on the on the uh, back side, of course you have to take the cap off the lens. That helps. Then you're uh, ready to hit the zero button twice. And that sets zero so that you're zeroed up on the project and any angle you turn from then on out is going to be the right-hand angle uh, of the angle you're turning.